On today's video, we're going to be looking at one of the most important aspects of running, which is your choice of footwear. If you get that right, you'll be a happy runner. And for me, one of the things that I really like is having light footwear, so I can barely feel the trainers on my feet. Um, I don't like too much padding or cushioning. Um, I do like them to be stable, um, and I also like them to be fairly bright coloured as well. Your choice of footwear is going to depend on a number of different things. Your personal running style, how you strike the ground with your feet, uh, the distances you're likely to be running, and where you're going to be running, the kind of terrain you're going to be running on. So lots of different factors are going to go into deciding your different choices of footwear. One of the brands I really like is Skechers because their trainers tend to be really light but also really well cushioned. Um, this is uh, Skechers Go Run Sonic 2 and is a perfect choice for longer distance runs. In fact this is the trainer that I used for my recent marathon. As you have seen from some of my previous videos, one of the things I really love about running is getting off-road and exploring different trails and paths. And so for that, I have these. These are called Innovate Mudclaw 300s. If I turn them over, you'll see the bottom. They're really, really deep treads to keep you safe, give you loads and loads of grip to get up muddy banks and things like that. They are a really close fit around your foot, feel like a glove tightening around your foot. And that's fantastic because when you're running through boggy ground, you have the confidence to know that these aren't going to fall off your feet and leave you uh, trainerless. And we'll now come on to my everyday trainers. So these are Sorconi Kinvara 6s. Uh, again, one of the things I love about these trainers is how light they are. So it barely feels that like I'm wearing a pair of trainers. Um, these are really good all-round shoe. So I wear these to the gym, I wear these for any distances from 5k up to half marathon distance. Um, a decent amount of cushioning. Um, so they're just a really versatile trainer and really breathable too. The next pair of trainers are the Sorconi Veratas. So as you may be able to tell, there's a lot less to these trainers than my previous pair of Sorconis I showed you. Um, most of the upper is simply a mesh, so really breathable so your feet aren't going to sweat too much. Um, really good for racing because they're so light. Um, as you can see, uh, they're well worn and I probably need to replace these soon. And these are my latest investment uh, in my footwear. Uh, these are called Merrill Vapor Glove 2s. Uh, I love the colour of these. Um, they're what we would call a minimalist trainer, so there is very little to them. Um, the upper is very thin, um, the grip is really designed for you to be running on pretty flat surfaces or cushioned surfaces like grass. Um, you'll be able to feel everything underfoot in this pair of trainers, so I would recommend that you don't go on gravel or trails, that kind of thing, in a pair of these trainers. Um, but they do give you amazing proprioception so the feeling of your feet against the ground you know exactly where your foot are landing and when um, and so these are great everyday trainers as well um, that you can wear throughout the year so i've shown you my different pairs of trainers and the reasons behind my purchasing decisions and what i tend to use these trainers for um, i would always recommend that you make sure you try them on uh, in a sports shop before you buy them uh, it's great to buy things online if you can get them cheaper that way, but it's really important that you have first-hand experience about how they feel, how they look, um, and what they're like to run in. So make sure you get on a treadmill before you buy them. So some of the key things, again, just to recap, are the cushioning, how much cushioning you want in your trainer, how heavy or light you want your shoes to be, whereabouts you're going to be running, and for how long as well. So once you think about all those things, Find some brands and trainers that you really like uh, and use them to get outside and enjoy your adventures.